Hey everyone, it's Rhonda here from Flowers and More by Rhonda. Hope everyone is having a fabulous, fabulous holiday weekend. And happy late Thanksgiving to everyone. And thanks for joining us again for another Create Craft Share YouTube app. And this month we're kicking off the holiday season. Whoop whoop. I love Christmas. If I could get back, keep my Christmas decorations up year round, I would do it. But I just love this time of the year. I love the whole meaning. I love being with family and friends. And, you know, it just rocks. But anyhow, uh, today I want to share something with you all that I have uh, done for quite a few years. Uh, I will admit, though, I've slacked off the last couple because I've been busy volunteering as a lot of folks who who kind of follow me along and stuff like that um, volunteer a lot of my time at the American Legion post uh, and this time of the year they do an annual Christmas party for, for the um, uh, members children and grandchildren and so forth and so I'm usually busy helping uh, decorate for that and because um, I do a lot of their decorating for a lot of their events but anyways uh, what I like to do is, first of all, a hint, save your pickle jars, save your gravy jars, um, any kind of jars, because you can always revamp them. A lot of y'all know that. Uh, they're great, not only for that, but you can store them, store stuff in them. There's things you can take, and, you know, um, one thing that I've done is... I'll take polyfill, put it on the top, make like a pin cushion, and then fill all kinds of goodies, you know, for sewing up in one. And then I like to alternate the outside. So, you know, that's a lot of fun to do. Um, but what I like to do is I uh, take and I like to alter the tops of them. And this was just a little, this probably had jelly in it because uh, there's fruits on it. Uh, I just take. And I alter the tops of them up, you know, in Christmas themes of some sort. Uh, this was some uh, material I think I found at a yard sale. Uh, another type of jar that I absolutely love are mason jars. But, you know, they can get a little costly after a while. But uh, something that you can think of when if you are a yard seller, a uh, great place to pick up mason jars at you know, very low cost. In fact, we got tons of them and I decorated them up, <clears throat> excuse me, and they were the vases at my daughter's wedding for the live flowers that we had for centerpieces. And, um, you know, they're just, they're awesome. I love mason jars. But, you know, any jar will do. So I like to take and decorate the tops of them up like I have here and I put together uh, what I have dubbed it's not my recipe you can find the recipe on the backs of just about any dry uh, milk powder milk mix and uh, but I've dubbed it my Christmas cocoa and you know there's a lot of folks in the family that really enjoy it and they look forward to it but I will take and um, alter the jar and include the, the cocoa. And then I'll take little cellophane bags, you know, that are Christmassy. And I'll fill those with marshmallows, the little miniature marshmallows. And then um, in a gift bag, I will include, like if there's, say, four family members, I will include four candy canes. So I give them enough cocoa you know for the for the size of the family of course and then I give them each a candy cane in the bag because you know some people like peppermint in their cocoa and if not then they've got the candy cane to sit back and enjoy uh, so what I did was I took my material and I used a on this one I used a uh, saucer size uh, plate and I just you know marked my material out and then on this jar, I took and I used this luncheon size plate, and uh, which is a little bit bigger. 
as you can see them in the saucer. And um, used it as my pattern. And I just marked it out with a marker. And then I come back and I cut it out with my pink and shears. But you can use your straight uh, scissors. I don't know why, but every pair of pink and shears I've ever come across, the tip is always broke on. But anyways, these are really good pink and shears. And they cut fabulously. So, you know, you could cut it out however you wanted. Now, this ended up being just a little bit too big for this because it hung down really far. So then I just, you know, folded it all in half, got it as close as I could, and then I just come back with my scissors and kind of gave it a little bit of an arch. So then that way I got as close to a really nice size circle as I possibly could, like so. And I think this was, I might have already mentioned this, I think I got this at a yard sale. Uh, but you don't have to use, you know, Christmas material. You can use anything that you have and you can embellish it up with, you know, Christmas goodies. Uh, scrap poinsettias, scrap holly, uh, anything like that. Of course, the Dollar Tree, they have, I mean, you can buy bukus of things there to, to decorate these just for, you know, pennies. And you can get quite a few, you know, if you want to do stuff for the neighbors or what have you. Uh, so if you want to cover it with some polyfill to give it a little bit of a poof up there on top, you can do that. If not, you don't have to. I didn't with this one. Uh, in the past, I have. And then I would just, you know, get it on there as quite close where it was pretty much evenly around and then I just came back and flipped it up and I hit it with some hot glue around my edges and then I just worked it down because I basically just wanted to hold it on the top because then I wanted to come in and I wanted to get a nice little gather in so I had my pleats around the edges and then another thing you can do is take a doily like so and this this doily you can get at Gone Artsy on Zibit. And then you can also just place a doily on it as well just to give it a little more character. And if you don't want to use the material underneath you could just use a simple doily. You know, like so. And then just come back with your scrap materials. Um, I like to fix mine up rather country like, you know, little bit of that primitive look almost so I have saved some scrap raffia and used it and then you can just add whatever you want to the front like so I think this was just an old jingle bell off of something that I had and then this this fun little piece of crystal gives it like a wintery feel you can get these at Miriam's crafting supplies and these I've had for quite a while. I got these, oh my gosh, a couple years ago. And I bought these from uh, Dell over at Glimpse of Memories. And again, there's my scrap raffia. And this fun little flower, I have no idea what that is made of. It's not really a burlap or a canvas. I'm not for sure. Uh, but you can find those at Jennings. Uh, craft boutique. I had won one of her grand raffles and that was in it. And it worked really, really well with this. So there you go. Easy, fun, simple, nice little gift to give to the neighbors or to your t uh, children's teachers. You know, anyone. And again, like I said, I would uh, include a jar of the Christmas cocoa along with a uh, cellophane bag that was Christmassy of marshmallows and candy canes and I put it all in a gift bag made for a nice simple little gift and the kids can help make these as well and I'll in the description be on uh, check it out because I will have the Christmas cocoa recipe for you and your family to enjoy so, until next time, thanks again for joining us for another Create, Craft, Share YouTube hop. Just check the description box below 
for uh, the designer next up in the hop. And I want to wish everyone a very happy and Merry Christmas. Stay safe. And we will see you all next year. So until next time, thanks everyone. Bye-bye.